It's the feeling that you don't know. You don't know whatever happened to him. You don't know where he is. A submarine with a crew of 80 presumed lost at sea during World War II has just been found off the coast of Japan 75 years later. Now, one of those sailors, Leroy Cox, was from Greer. And 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell talked to members of his family today. Quite a story, Ann. That's right, Gordon. Cox is one of 11 siblings. For decades, his family has wondered what happened to him. Family members I spoke with said they wish other loved ones were still around to hear this news. Leroy Cox of Greer was a cook on the USS Grayback submarine in World War II. His sister Aggie was just 26 days old when their mother learned the Grayback was presumed missing at sea in 1944. It was almost like he was here because we talked about him a lot. The family talked about him. Year after year, Cox's family wondered where he was. We wanted to know what happened, but our hope was, of course, you always have this little hope back there hoping that he'll come home alive. Friday, his remaining family finally heard the news. The Grayback and its crew had been found at a depth of 1,400 feet off the coast of Okinawa, Japan. I burst out crying, and I cried, and I cried, and I cried. She said they were tears of joy. I was just overwhelmed, and still I lie in bed and wonder if it's really true. The privately funded Lost 52 project located the submarine using technology like an underwater drone and sonar. Its mission is to find the 52 submarines lost in World War II. I just cannot, cannot can't thank them enough. They never gave up, you know, and they're still searching. The USS Grayback sunk more than a dozen Japanese ships until a plane dropped a bomb on it. Cox and the other 79 sailors aboard made the ultimate sacrifice. Cox's great nephew says his uncle is one of the reasons he now wants to serve his country. I believe that's a good bit of why I want to join and why I'm looking forward to joining. Several institutions and organizations have worked together to protect the site where the Grayback was found to make sure that final resting place for those 80 sailors remains undisturbed. From 7 on Main and Maxwell 7 News. Oh, and it is humbling to hear about that kind of heroism, isn't it? So far, just seven of the lost 52 submarines have been tracked down.